lots of daylight. We'll everybody cross your fingers, see if our range team was able to get out there and provide any surprise views as Starship makes its way down. Oh, it's like they heard me. Ready and waiting, let's go. <laughs> Dan, you just spoke that view into existence there. <laughs> And again, all brought to us by Starlink. Maneuver has started. All right, there we go. So we're, we're now starting into our really heavy bank maneuver. Again, this kind of, this does almost like a half circle loop um, to our actual trajectory. We're heading to the same exact splashdown point, but we're kind of doing a, a, a more roundabout way to get there, where it's this kind of big, long half moon loop and then a really aggressive and a twist right at the very end. And that would line us up with the launch tower. Starship, on a return to launch site, would fly over the tower, do, do a quick landing burn flip, and then come down for catching the arms. How about that S-38 decal there, staying strong on that view we just had? <laughs> Good to see the numbers back on. Yeah. All right, should be hitting transonic in about two and a half minutes. Landing flip coming up in about four. Pretty clouds there in the Indian Ocean today. Again, yeah, we, we changed our launch times. We launch in the evening now, so we get these daytime views. Uh, down in the Indian Ocean. One of the things we're really looking for, the reason we have the drone other than, yeah, that looks really cool, uh, is we're able to kind of see the ship. We can only see so much from these cameras. You can't see, like, the vast majority of the heat shield. So we throw these buoys out there. We've got a joke. There's... You spoke it again, Dan. <laughs> I, there it is. They're playing with me in the control room. All right. <laughs> But we have, we have these buoys out there. We have these drones that we're trying to see externally how the heat shield held up. Um, everybody saw from Flight 10, it had a little bit of a paint job, a uh, little bit of a reddish hue. That was from those metallic tiles that we had tested, uh, kind of oxidizing really rapidly in that plasma and then spreading those little oxide particles all over the heat shield. No metal tiles on this flight, so not expecting to see that. Dynamic uh, pressure then, is coming down. Hope nobody gets seasick. All right, coming up on transonic shortly. It's about two and a half minutes of landing burn. Yeah, and once we get to around the 15 kilometer altitude mark, that's where we have a lot of flight history. Starship is transonic, starting the belly flop phase of flight. Yep, that belly flop phase that we perfected in the suborbital campaigns. We're entering that now. Right, starting to get those Raptors ready. Should be two minutes away from landing burn. Again, we're going to do do a flip. After we ignite those engines, we'll go from three down to two for the final phase of the landing burn and look for another soft splashdown, hopefully by our buoy and drone, which are hanging out, ready and waiting for a ship. Seeing all three center engines have entered the chill phase. All right, less than a minute to go. Shipping is the ship is making its turn for final approach. 
And here's this kind of aggressive final turn that would essentially position it so it's right behind the launch and catch tower. Flaps holding strong. Landing burn in just under 20 seconds. Ship landing startup. There's our landing burn. Three down to two. Starship has landed. <laughs> As we said, we're not planning on recovering the ship today. Hey, welcome back to Earth, Starship. <laughs> 